So here we have, again, this is actually from Elmina's cookbook. And if we turn it over, it looks like this was the cover. It says composition. So at one point in time, this was probably the cover of her cookbook. And then on the inside, we see an insert for a newspaper uh, article that's been pasted in. And it's dated May 22nd, 1930. So again, it gives us an, a time frame for when uh, she was making her cookbook. It's from the Herald's Market. And at the very top, it says prize-winning recipe for strawberry shortcake. Elmina H. Allen of Syracuse, awarded prize. Many others deserve honorable mention. Elmina H. Allen, 602 Westcott Street, with a recipe for strawberry shortcake, wins the Herald's $5 prize in the strawberry contest. There was a deluge of letters containing timely recipes, all of them of interest to the cook. There are half a dozen worthy of honorable mention from the delicate strawberry meringues and strawberry rice pudding recipes sent in by Mrs. W.D. Post, 106 Douglas Avenue, to the precious strawberry preserve recipe sent in by Blanche M. Highland of Munsville, strawberry pies, puddings and fluffs, strawberry cakes and jellies, scalloped strawberries, strawberry omelets, strawberry sauces. The list is much too long to appear in this week's food pages. Here is Elmina H. Allen's recipe, strawberry shortcake. And then we have the recipe down here uh, for Elmina's strawberry shortcake. And then over here on the side, it says, note, Nina's biscuits below are much easier to make and just as reliable for shortcake part. Try it. And it has a little, a little, uh, what is it? A little curly Q and it says Mina there. And unfortunately, we don't have the bottom of the, the book to see what the recipe is for the shortcake. So this is, this is again from Elmina and her wonderful cookbook from the 1930s and 40s.